Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Pokemon Sun Wonderlock. If you guys did not watch the episode earlier today, I highly recommend going and get it. I'm kind of spoiling what, what happened a little bit as of right now. But hey, go check it out. We got some cool Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, go check it out, please. We got Pitatard here from France. I'm, a sure, I'm pretty sure that's his name in Fran French. In France, whatever you want to call him. But we got him last episode and he's not Brud actually. He's just a uh, normal cop Pokemon, it looks like. I've never seen Politoed actually out in the wild, I don't think. Not that I could remember. So, I don't remember the exact level uh, that he was when I caught him. Uh, the Pokemon that I wanted to trade it off. But since it was around 10, I'm assuming that it was around 25, so I'm just... Rain Dance, no. I'm going to assume that he's around level 25, so I'm just going to level him to 25. Because the Pokemon that I caught before him was level 26. So, the odds are good that it was around 25. Body slam. Ooh, yes, please. But this is going to be eventually a very, very good Pokemon that I am super, super hyped for. Because if you don't know, he evolves into two different Pokemon, which honestly, I want Politoed. But at the same time, if I put him on my team, is he going to evolve at 24? Oh, huh, no. It might be good to have a water fighting type. Bubble Beam, yes please. Thank you for learning a good water type move. That's much better than a water gun. Um, this is the, We have the music of the Pokemon Center in here because, God, it's my birthday today still. Yeah, still. Um, oh, it's 25. Nice! I got a brand new Pokemon. I got a brand new Pokemon. I got a Poliwhirl. Um, but we could either have a Poliwrath or a Politoed. And if you guys want two videos again tomorrow, I don't know if I said this yet or not. I, I do videos after one after the other. But if we reach 150 likes on today's episode, two episodes, the one that I uploaded right now, the one you're watching, or the one earlier today, or, well, and the one earlier today, I will be uploading two videos again tomorrow. Pita Tard. Pita Tard evolved. Wait, I didn't say. Is his name Polyworld now? Oh, I didn't know that. I assumed it would still be the French name. That's kind of cool. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe his name is Pita Tard. I have no idea. What's a 14%? That ain't bad at all. Although it can live on land, it prefers to stay in the water where it has fewer natural enemies. Ooh, I didn't know that. That's a cool little little stat to know. Uh, level 25 is where I wanted to have him. We're not going to put him on the team yet. We also do already have a water type Pokemon, so it's not. He's not necessary for the team at all. But I, he's he's straight power in the PC. We have another. We have two water types. We have three. We have three possible water types, but we have two. We have a possible Vaporeon, which I don't think I'd evolve him into. We have a Gyarados, and we have a Poliwrath slash Politoed, which ain't bad at all. These are a good Pokemon. These are a crappy Pokemon. These are a dead Pokemon. Poor Gabite. We got two Gabites in this Let's Play. <laughs> That's amazing. Gabite was one that I was really, really looking forward to. Or just Garchomp in general, because I love Garchomp. Garchomp's one of them badass Pokemon, and I love it. Uh, I'm supposed to go to Route 10, I believe. I don't think there's anything else for me to really do that is important around here. No, not that way. Ruck 10 is down here. I think I'm supposed to go up here and go to the Hanakalulululululululu Observatory. I don't know how to say it, by the way, in case you're wondering. I don't even know how it's spelled, to be honest. Um, Do I want to battle you? There's some massive amount of rustling going on there. I'm going to send out Swainub. I don't like how low of a level he is, but eh. He's got the Evil Light, so I'm... If he does get pursuit trapped or anything like that, he could take it very well. He, he he'll, he'll be fine. Swinub's got natural bulk too. And once he evolves, he evolves at level 33. We get an Eviolite Piloswine. That is straight monstrous. I am not against that at all. Poliwhirl. Hey! Hey! I just got one of you. That's awesome. I don't like this matchup at all. Although, I do have freeze dry. You're level 28, Jesus. Okay. Fomantis. Fomantis is... Fomantis is almost ready to evolve, too. Last episode, we did get a couple evolutions, I think. No, we got one. We got one evolution. You know, we got two, technically. We got Gabite, and we got Alakazam. Which I... I have not used my Alakazam yet, because I want to make sure Fomantis is up there a little bit. And we haven't run too many into too many Pokemon that we've needed to use Kadabra or Alakazam in. This might actually do a bit. Fomantis, I need you to evolve. Ooh, dang. Okay. All right, I see you. Leash life. Get some of that health back. Oh, he's double slapping you. I much prefer that than than body slam. 
<laughs> much prefer. I'm going to turn down the desktop audio a little bit. It looks like it's a little too loud. There we go, a little bit. Get your HP back. Get HP back. Nummy. Leech Life got a huge buff this generation, which I am super happy for. I think Leech Life was like 30 base power before this generation. I think it was. Freaking Araquanid gets so much power off of that now, too. Telekinesis. Oh, you still learn moves? I thought you'd stop learning moves after you evolve. I think any other move that I want you to learn is from TMs. Like Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, Thunderbolt. I don't know what else you get. Just moves like that. Right now he's got Psychic, and that's there's a Crabrawler in there. That's fine. What do you do? Young boy on an island challenge amulet. Your Pokemon look a bit tired. Oh, you heal me. Never would have guessed that. Never would have guessed that. But I want to fight this. This Crabrawler and get... These are actually... If you guys are done or playing through or whatever, these are very important berries to grab. They're like the Kelpsy, Kelpsy Berry, the Hondu Berry, the... Qualot Berry, the Hondu, the Tomato, Tomato. Whatever it is. And what those do are those lower... Lower your Pokemon's EVs. Sorry, I'm struggling here. Lowers your Pokemon's EVs. Let's send out Alakazam. So if you, like, have EVs trained on, like, Alakazam, for instance, here. I don't want Alakazam to have any attack EVs. I don't want it at all. I want him to be all special attack and then usually speed with, like, an HP or defense boost or something like that. Oh, I gotta teach you. I forgot that I gave, got the TM Psychic. I haven't taught it to you yet. This should still knock out Kravala. Alakazam is so strong. I'm so excited to use you with a stab freaking psychic. Alakazam can destroy anything other than dark types. Key Berry. Oh, Key Berry doesn't lower your EVs. I don't know what Key Berry does. Tomato Berry. I don't know what Tomato Berry lowers, but I know it does something. Give me his Greppa Berry. Lowers more. And another Tomato Berry. So we didn't get too many good things from that. I think Key Berry is actually very good, but I don't know what exactly. I think it, like, gets rid of confusion or something. I want to Psychic. Use this item on Alakazam. Oh, I'm excited for this. Um, I'm going to get rid of Psybeam. I was thinking about keeping Psybeam just for PP purposes. Eh. I'd, I'd rather keep Thief on there just in case I run into a Dark type or something weird like that. Or if I want to steal some item. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing at all. Um, but yeah, I just want to keep another move on there that's not psychic type typing. Eh, don't make me run into anything else. Okay, I'll run into you. Oh, what do you do? Tauros stampeding along here. He's not going to battle me. Oh, hey, they're beating up a sign. Stop beating up. Yo, yo, yo. What? You never seen someone take a bus? Somebody take a bus stop to go before? What does that mean? Oh, they were trying to steal it? Hey, yo, you trying to steal our bus stop? Best go find your own, you heard? Why are they stealing a bus stop? Why? Why? <laughs> I thought they were just, like, acting tough around the bus stop. I didn't know they were trying to pick it up or anything like that. Hey, Team Skull, you be Team Skull. You keep doing your own thing. I'm never upset with that. I wish I could battle both of you at the same time. Golbat. Oh, I'm what level are you going to be? What level are you going to be? 27. I'm risking it. Let's try out Swinub. Icicle Crash does 85 and 90%. Let's go for Icicle Crash. Air Cutter, you can take that. You're Evio lighted. Oh, you can take two, no problem. Oh, you're bulky as hell now. And hey, that's a Swinub against a Golbat. Five levels below him. He put in some work there. Who do I need to get XP? Fomantis I do, but I don't want him taking damage. Um, Alakazam doesn't. Araquanid does. Um, so no Marowak. I know he's he's not weak, actually. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Why did I think he was weak to that? He's not... I have no idea why I thought he... For some reason, I thought he was a water type. Cursed body. Get that out of here. <laughs> I should switch back in, swine up. <laughs> um... Flame charge. I don't think this is going to knock him out. He four times res... Oh, stop. Stop. That's actually going to be super nice having the Pyloswine with uh, Eviolite. So, for instance here, like if I was afraid of this Golbat and I felt like I couldn't take him out, which I felt like I could easily, 
I could Paris song him, wait a turn or two, switch out into Pyloswine, who could take any hit with the Eviolite, and just sit there. Because he's got four times he's got no four times weaknesses. I don't think he does, at least. He's got a lot of weaknesses, but no four times weaknesses. Let me double check that. I can't think of anything off the top of my mind. Yo, dang, I lost, then my homie's gotta fight you. That's just the life of Team Skull. We stand up to even the strong. Yo, we stand up, but not for long. <laughs> he just burned himself. Pilot's Wine's an awesome looking Pokemon, too. He reminds me of my angsty teenage years. Um, <laughs> no, he's, he's weak to fighting, steel, fire, water, grass, but all two times weakness. And he's immune to electric. He's only got one resistance, though. Very curious typing. I don't know if he's that good, actually, now that I'm looking at him, but I still want him. He's got no four times weakness. With Eevee Light, he could take any hit. So, oh, oh, oh. You know what? If he, if he pursues me, I could take it. I could take it. It's stab. I don't like that, though. But, hey. Hey, what can you do? Do not pursue me. Do not pursue me. Okay, he didn't pursue me. I don't even know if Reticate gets pursuit. And we get the Intimidate off. Tauros might... Oh, that's going to be big, actually. Hyper Fang. I'm terrified of Hyper Fang. I don't like that move at all. Um, Horn Attack. My strongest move. I need you to get, like... I need to get Return. Where do I get Return? I feel like Kakui gives it to me. What level do we get Tauros at? Because we did a lot of walking around with him. I feel like he's got to love me a ton by now. I feel like he's just got an Ice Shard. Ooh! I will get rid of Icicle Crash for that. It's not worth the 90% accuracy. And, uh, Freeze Dry's cover covers it quite a bit, too. So I kind of like it. I kind of like Freeze Dry over that. Just in general. Unless I feel like I gotta do a lot of damage. But I feel like it's not necessary. My hands are freezing, in case you're wondering. Yo, think about the bus drivers. If we take this bus stop, they can ch all chill. They're being good guys. Oh, I'm over this. Back to living large at the mansion. Yeah. Yeah. Where's Kakui? There he is. HROP94. Dude, Game Grumps did probably the funniest voice for Kakui in the first few episodes and then ended up forgetting it and changing the voice. What's going on? Some team Skullpunk has just ran past me in the other direction. Yeah. I sure wish they challenged the league instead of getting up to no good all the time. Challenge. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you'll find out just soon enough. Just wait on it, cousin. But first things first, let's head up to Mount Hakulani. Lani. Hakulani. Hakulana? Lani. 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 I don't think there's anything else. There might be an item over here. I feel like there's an item back here. No? Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. The best out? Yes. Yes, I would. The Executor of Express! Yay! It looks so beat up and so sketch. It looks so freaking sketch. I don't recommend going on that bus. If you young child. No young child should be going on there. That bad for young child. Over here! He looks so happy all the time. Mount Hakulani is the second largest the t and the tallest. Yep. It's where the Pokemon League is. Check it out, HBM94. Ooh, get, feel those goosebumps, guys. That's where we're heading. You see up that steep, jutting, majestic peak right there? I do. Just barely, though. That's Mount, Mount Lanakila, the highest peak in Alola. Wow. Wowzers. It's a volcano. It's a sacred spot, yeah? The closest you can get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola, said to be the sun incarnate. That, that's it, right there, on the peak of Lanikela. Kila. That's where I'll establish our Pokemon League. Oh, you haven't done it yet? Get on that. We'll get everybody who finished their island challenge, yeah. And up to the peak of Mount Lanikela. They'll battle against the Kahunos to become the island challenge the island challenge champion. I've always valued our, our old traditions here in Alola, but it's time to make a champion the whole world will recognize. It's time to get our Elite Four and make our own Pokemon League. To think that someday the kiddos in Alola will be able to go from being in the island challenge champion to the world champion. And then, when we have our own champion, they... Oh, 
<laughs> I was done reading it at that point, if you guys couldn't tell. I didn't want to read anymore. But we do get a new encounter. I'm going to heal up really quick just in case. Oh, God, the music. Stop it. I understand it's my birthday. I love what you did, but you could turn the music back to normal. I don't need to hear it anymore. I'm good. I'm great. Dude. I just don't want to hear it. Stop. It's going to put me to sleep. It's my time to work. I, I want to work. I don't want to fall asleep. Game. Stop trying to change my stuff. What do you do? Oh, wow. You do nothing for me. I beat everyone on here. Oh. Dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. That's what H Bob 94 does. Uh, any items over here? No. I think there's an item back here, though. No? Item over here? No? Where are all the items at? Oh, TM. Bolt switch. Oh! Ooh. Can no one learn that? No one can learn that. Okay, that's a little disappointing. Bolt Switch is a super, super good move, in case you guys are wondering. It's like U-Turn, but Special Variant and Electric Variant. Very, very good move. If you can use it, learn. If you can learn it, use it. Oh, Mini Ore, I wish I could use you. We had Star-Lord here on my last Let's Play, and I loved him. Although he ended up not being too hot. Um, He's Flying Rock. Flying Rock, so Marowak can come in, and I feel like I can safely Brick Break him, which is neutral. And it should take him not even to half. Okay, yeah, thank you for using Stealth Rock. I already switched out, so I'm good. I feel, I feel like I can safely use Brick Break. Right? Not half? Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Brick Break again. I almost used Parasong by accident. That could have been very, very bad. In the red, perfect. Ancient power, that's not going to do too much. Marowak's bulky as hell. Actually, that might do a lot more now. Ah, oh, you're my favorite color, Minior 2! You're Star-Lord's color! Um, who can take hits well? Tauros can. Now that, now that he changed or whatever, he becomes a lot stronger with attack, but a lot less defensive. And I feel like an Ancient Power would actually do a ton to Marowak, and I don't want that to happen. Thank you for using Stealth Rock again. I guess I could have stayed in, but I didn't. Uh, I just want to use a Great Ball, right? Yeah, I just want to use a Great Ball. Please, just get in there, Mini Or I want to Wonder Trade you and get something good. This is actually a good Pokemon to Wonder Trade off of, because it's actually a good Pokemon. And it's actually kind of rare. You don't see it on Wonder Trade too often. The music is starting to put me to sleep, and I don't like it. The music from the Pokemon Center, it actually made me a little bit tired, and I don't appreciate it. Alright, Taurus is going to grow a level, Marowak is going to grow a level, and hopefully my little man, uh, Swinub will get a level. There we go, level 25. 20, 33. Anyone else going to gain a level? No. Fomantis? Fomantis? One more level until Lee becomes a Lorantis. Oh, that's going to be so big. It's going to be so important. I love this, like, happy little music. Look at my little guy. I think it was Shady Penguin that got a green one, and he called him uh, Cosmo, and it's, like, the perfect name for him. It eats dust in the atmosphere. The composition of the dust determines the color of its core. That's kind of cool. I don't remember really reading that. Uh, we want to name you HB94. HB... B B ninety four. There we go. We murder. We kill. Add to box. I want to wonder trade you and get new Pokemon. I want to get. I to, like. I keep going through this. I don't know what I need for my team. I've gotten rid of a lot of Pokemon that I don't want to be honest. Like they're already on my squad. <laughs> so I feel fairly confident that we're gonna keep getting. Like now that we get later into the game. The more likely to get power, we're now more likely to actually get good Pokemon because we got rid of like Young Goose, we got rid of Picky Peck, we got rid of. We haven't gotten any starters yet, which is kind of surprising. Um, Picky Peck, we got rid of Meowth, we got rid of Abra, which Abra is power, but we like I'm, I'm just throwing it out there that that's a fairly common one. Um, I could look through. We got rid of Rotato, we got rid of Fletchling, we got rid of Wingle, we got rid of Salandit, we got rid. Yeah, we got rid of a lot of Pokemon. And there's something in the dead box too, like Lillipop. No, oh, I hate looking at the dead box. Yeah, 
he had self-destruct. Oh my god. That was like the last Pokemon I would want to run into. I didn't know he had that move. Actually, I didn't know that before, but I didn't even think about it. Like, my when I caught my Mini or my Let's Play, he had self-destruct. My nose itches way too much. What do I want? I want a Bagon. Honestly, if I got a Bagon, I would... I'd actually be so done to use it. No, he doesn't evolve until like 55 into Salamence. The nice thing about Garchomp is he evolves at level 48, so I don't know if I would want to use Salamence until later on. Because right now he'd just be a Shellagon, kind of chilling. We already have him, so I have to Wonder Trade again. Like I said, now we got rid of the bad Pokemon, so anytime we get a Meowth again, or Species, or it's Dupes, whatever you want to call it. And now also if I get like a Persian, I consider that a duplicate, and I just re Wonder Trade it away. Because that's no fun. Like, the, the part about Wonder Trading is getting, like, the new Pokemon that you, like, is getting new Pokemon that you normally wouldn't use. That's why I kind of like it. Like, I don't think, if I did a normal Nuzlocke, I wouldn't have, I don't think I'd have any of these Pokemon on my team. Wait, I was about to trade, Wonder Trade, oh, that could have been so bad. This is the Meowth that I just got, I believe. Yes. I was about to re Wonder Trade Tauros. <laughs> that could have been horrible. I would have been so upset with myself. I would spam my power button and try turning it off as soon as possible. Oh, that would scare the crap out of me. I think I have the option if I turned off my... I can't press B. I press B and it did nothing. But it, B does... Yeah, B does nothing. So I guess I would have to just spam turn off the Wonder Trade. What's your name? Ref Referio? Interesting name. Referio, give me some power, please. Give me some power. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, power. Another quick ball. Is this HP 94? Matino. No, it's not. Oh my god. That would have been absolutely hilarious. I, I, I just got rid of him to get another one back. Oh my god, that that is not dupes in case you guys are wondering. The only Pokemon that I would consider dupes is ones that I've already gotten off of Wonder Trade. So since I already caught them, that's a brand new Pokemon. I don't have them on my squad right now. I have to go to the PC. I, I don't think... <laughs> I made it through. She was doing some stretches over there trying to find me. Um... <laughs> There's like two... No, no, shut up. Actually, yeah, go for it. I might as well. I wasn't trying to talk to you, I was trying to get to the PC, but hey, I got you anyways. Dun dun dun. I'm actually really happy that I switched out to Tauros. If he would have self-destructed there, or I switched out to Marowak. Oh! That might have saved him from freaking self-destructing. Switching out to Marowak. Matino, oh, he's level one? Oh, we got a bread bashful. What is bash bashful? What is bashful nature? It's neutral, okay. Um, that, once again, that's, I'm going to keep saying this. This is something that, like, Nappy and a lot of other YouTubers say. That's power in the PC. I want to rare candy you up just because I actually think I will end up using you. I do actually believe I will end up using you in the future. Like, if I white out, this is going to be a Pokemon that I bring in immediately. Like, right now, I'm going to have, like, Gyarados. Learn Defense Girl, great. I'm going to have Gyarados, uh, Poliwrath, Politoed, um... Garchomp. Like, my, my PC is filled up. I feel very confident with this Let's Play. I'm terrified for the Elite Four. Like, I'm genuinely terrified for the Elite Four. Elite Four. Because that's just straight battle after battle. If one of my Pokemon goes down, I can't get another one out. Which sucks. Which sucks. Once I enter there, I'm I'm stuck in there. And they are a fairly high level. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. I'm going to level you up to 25. I don't remember what my HP 94 was. Matino. Metino. I'm going to call you Matino. Swift? No. Not a good move. Basically, I don't think... I don't think Minior gets a good move set, to be honest. He gets... Okay, yeah, there's one of his good moves. He gets Ancient Power. I'm never going to lock myself into Rollo. Never. That's, that's too risky to do in a Nuzlocke. Um, he gets Shell Smash, which is good. I don't think he gets any good Flying-type moves, which means one of his stab is pretty much useless. Other than being able to avoid ground type moves, which is good because it's a rock type, which means you're not learning self-destruct. You're not learning self-destruct, little guy. That's not happening. But I don't think he gets a very good move set. 
Which was one of the issues. Okay, Stealth Rex is good. I will teach you that. The reason why Stealth Rex is good, so like if I do an Elite Four, I can avoid things like Sturdy. I know that the girl's Golem, uh, Olivia's Golem, does have Sturdy. Which is kind of scary. But hey, we can handle it. We can take it on, no issues at all. Um, I want my Tauros back. For now, we're not going to be using them, of course. Does he have an item? No, he does not. He's got Tackle, Stealth Rock, H Power. Yeah, he just doesn't get a good moveset. But yeah, our team right now would be... Like, let's say all of our Pokemon got knocked out there. I'm going to move Rufflet down here. I do like Braviary, but once again, he doesn't evolve to level 54. So we'd have a Vicavolt, a Garchomp, a Jolteon. I'm going to say Jolteon. A Gyarados, a Polyrath, a Minior, and a Braviary. So if I do white out, that's that's my squad coming out. So, the six of them, obviously. That's just straight power, and I like it. Good team synergy. Only one type duplicate, which would be Gyarados and Politoed, or probably Wrath, one or the other. Which is very, very good. And I guess technically uh, Minior and uh, Braviary, but... Like I said, he doesn't get really any good type coverage for flying, so I probably need him. I battle you. I battle you. I battle you. I'm not starting off with Swinub. I remember this guy's actually tough. I'm starting off with Alakazam. And I'm moving you down there. I want to use Alakazam. Everyone is 33 except for Tauros, which is 32, and Swinub. Okay. I feel like he's actually got a good team. I think I battle you. I remember you being kind of tough. Hey there! Where did you come from, Kakui? You're still as fired up as ever, eh, Royale? Hi, h let me introduce you to Molain. That's his name. He runs the observatory. He's Steel-type. I think he's got, like, a Metagross in the after game. He runs the observatory here, and he also manages the PC boxes when... But he's not Honolulu Hakulani's captain. But I once was my masked friend. It's h 94 right? Thanks for coming all the way up to Hakulani to visit us. But our Captain Sophocles is a very busy man. Always calculating comets pass or working on that Festival Plaza thing of his. So I'll just determine whether you're qualified for the... Oh, God. I'll gladly show... Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I wish I remembered what typing he was before I chose Alakazam. Because I think that's very bad for me. He's got three Pokemon. There's a lot of tough trainer battles in this game. Okay. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Level 29. Jesus Christ. We want Marowak out here. Marowak. And just flame charge up like crazy. I can't one-shot him, because he's got sturdy. That was a motorcycle. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but that scared the crap out of me. Do not get the boost. Okay, no boost. I'm pretty sure Metal Claw can boost your attack stupid motorcycles this will boost my speed ah i wish it did more than half well let's get you set up at least i was thinking about using parasong against him but then super effective stab flame charge that could boost my speed i might as well go for it air cutter luckily i outspeed you so i can't flinch marowak's gonna be huge for this battle I'm, I'm actually a little afraid that he's going to have a Pokemon that knows Bulldoze. I don't think he'll have a Pokemon that knows Earthquake, but Bulldoze would do a lot of damage to me. Or even just like a, a Dark-type move. 1,230. Alakazam grew to 34. That's good. No one else getting any levels. Dugtrio. I have to switch you out. Uh, Araquanid. Don't even think about it. Just Araquanid. So, Dugtrio is Steel Ground-typing. Which makes him a little tough to beat. But with... Yeah, no. I think we should be fine. He's gonna outspeed us. Which sucks. And use Dig. Sucker Punch. That's not Stab. Critical hit. Okay, that's why I did so much. I was about to say Jesus. Knock him out. Knock him out. Knock him out. He doesn't have Sturdy. He doesn't have Sturdy. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. I was afraid that he was gonna use Dig or something. Uh, Matang. Like I said, he's got a Metagross in the after game. Um, Marowak. Thir no, 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 no. Switch in. The reason why I'm bringing out Marowak is because he's got Flame Charge, he's got Bone Meringue. I don't think he's going to have any ground type moves. I'm afraid of the Pursuit, but even Pursuit 
As long as I don't switch out, I'm fine. How much does Flame Charge do? What level is he? 29. Oh, wow. Okay. Speed boosted too. Pursuit. Like I said, this was the move I was afraid of. But that ain't doing much at all. Okay, beautiful. Marowak is so bulky. Oh, okay. This should knock him out. I can't imagine him living it. Beautiful. Okay, we got out there with no casualties. That could have been scary. I... I... <laughs> I'm always terrified to battle these kind of guys because they always have a good team. I just have a better team. My team is so well-rounded. Arachnid grew to level 34. Beautiful. Swine upgrade to level 26. Learn to move. Nope. Okay, fine. You're with Kakui. Looks like you brought along a good trainer. 3k. Not bad. Not bad, Mula. I'm all about the Mula. I hate his glasses. His glasses bother me. Well, well, you certainly seem qualified to take on the trial. Yeah, I think he's even, he's even stronger than we were at this point in our own challenge. One more thing, cousin. The name's Kakui. Who's this Mass Royale you're talking about? He never said Mass Royale. All right, cousin. I'm ready to go. I'm going to the melee garden or something like that. I wasn't paying attention. He's going to go fight. That guy's as interesting as ever, my old buddy. Welcome to our reservatory, HBOM94. So we got to go take that on. I'm going to go heal first. I don't know when I started recording, but I feel like we're about the 30-minute mark. I think we're at about the 30-minute mark. I feel like we're somewhere around there. And we did get a few encounters this episode, didn't we? We did. I don't even know what we did this episode. <laughs> My mind's gone blank. It's too early for me, apparently. Dun, 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 Stop with the slow music. Wait, do I get a move over here? Will you give me any moves? I feel like you give me Carbos. Yeah. That's where you buy that in the in-game stuff. I spent a ton of money on that, so I didn't have to EV train Pokemon. <laughs> Um, I want to buy some great balls. I want to make sure I have plenty of those. And how many super potions do I have? 20. That's good enough. Hyper potions. Let's buy as many as we can. There we go. I want to make sure I have that stuff ready to go. And buy as many as I can, but I wanted to buy a good amount. So I think what ends up happening. I don't want to get too far into it. Is there an item over here? There's got to be something over here. Yep. How do I get... Oh. <laughs> Level ball. I was like, how the hell do I get over here? Can I go through here? No, I can't. Eh. Anything else over here? I've never been over here. Oh, hello, Alola. You know there's a Pokemon called Minior. It comes out... Oh, sick. Yeah, I've been wanting to give you this. What do you give me? A moon ball. I hope you try to complete your Pokemon for Pokedex for Rotom's sake. I never knew he was over there. I never did that during my Let's Play. Is there any more things that I have to go over around here? That's just the Executor bus, so I'm assuming that guy gives you the option to take it down. Let's see. Is that what it is? Thank you for choosing the Executor. No. No, I do not want to do that. Um... Is there anything else? The reason being, I don't want to quite get too far into this thing, because I don't know if... I have no idea how long I've been recording for. Let me double check that really quick. Yeah, so I've been recording for 33 minutes, and once the... Uh, once I start taking on the trial, I don't think I can stop without saving. So I think I'm going to have to... Oh, what do you give me? A comment shard. That's money! Thank you! Just hand me money for entering someplace. I have a hundred... If, if museums did that, I would go to... An actual museum, because I never go to one. I don't think I've been to a museum. I've been to an aquarium on my own. Like, I've been to museums on, like, freaking <laughs> school field trips or whatever. But, yeah, other than that, I don't think I've ever gone on my own. But, anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If we reach 150 likes on both of today's videos, I will upload two videos again tomorrow. So, be sure to leave a like. Get out of here. <gasps>